Now we will discuss about the facial anatomy. Here, first of all, we make a diagram. Here is this is position of the mandible. Here is position of masseter. This is position of masseteric muscle. We attach with the mandible. This is line of the mandible. This is masseter. This muscle is masseter and here is position of this is position of head bone this is lesser cardio greater cardio this is body of the head here this is head bone here is one muscle this is anterior belly of the digestive here lies Posterior belly of the digestive. This is this is posterior belly of the digestive. Here is attached with the styloid process. This is styloid process is attached with the styloid process. And here is fibrous pulley. And the muscle is stylo. Hard muscle. This is stylo hard muscle. So here is two muscles, posterior belly of the digestive and stylo hard muscle. And the muscle which lies here, here is position of ear. Stylet process and here is muscular process. This is muscular process. From muscular process, under muscle is attached. This is stylo, sorry, sterno credo muscular muscle. This is sterno credo muscular muscle. So this muscle is digastic. Posterior belly, this is digestive posterior belly, and under muscle is here that is stylo hyde. And the structure this is sterno cleidomastoid muscle, Here is superior belly of the omohyoid. This is superior belly of omohyoid.
superior belly of homohyoid muscle. And here you can see this is a triangle. This is triangular structure. This triangle is carotid triangle. This is carotid triangle. And in this carotid triangle, one important structure that is common carotid artery. This is common carotid artery here. It divides into the external carotid. And internal cavity. This is internal cavity artery and another artery is external cavity artery. So one is external cavity. So this is external cavity artery. This is common cavity divided into external and internal cavity artery in cavity triangle. At the just above this level of the greater carnum, this is level of the greater carnum here, just above this greater carnum, a branch arises here. This branch is known as facial artery. Here in this triangle, this external carotid artery gives five branches. One branch is ascending pharyngeal, another branch is superior thoracic, facial, lingual, and posteriorly it gives occipital branch. So five branches arise here. Now we'll discuss about the only one branch that is facial. This is facial artery, it passes deep to these two muscles, posterior belly of the digastric. And stylohyoid muscle, it passes deep to this, like this, here. And here it course is just shaped. It runs upward, then downward, like this, then comes in the face. And it's in its whole course, it is not straight, it is tortuous, like this. Here it lies on the pharynx. Should be a constrictor of the pharynx in the cervical region. In the face, this is facial part. In the face, this is cervical part. In cervical part, it is coarse. You can see the, it is just shaped. It is just shaped like this. It has two curvatures. One is here, like this, and the other is here. If you make a diagram, you will find. Here is teeth. This is mandible. And here is position of this is submandibular gland which lies here. Here lies submandibular gland, superficial part of the submandibular gland. So this is superficial part of submandibular gland. Here is a fascia, that is cervical fascia. This is cervical fascia, investing layer of cervical fascia. So this artery, this artery runs like this. It initially goes upward and winds down this superficial part of submandibular gland. This is submandibular gland. So it runs like this and here it pierces the investing layer of deep cervical fascia and comes on the surface of the mandible like this. So it has double curve. So here it ascends in upward then it winds this submandibular band then it runs downward like this and here it runs on the surface of the mandible here and and the relation with this this is the masseter muscle this is masseter muscle this is anterior if you angle of the masseter it passes just anterior to anterior this anterior if you angle of the masseter so here this course is tortuous this tortuous course in the cervical region allows movement of the pharynx during deglutition and here this tortuous course allows the movement of the mandible during 
chewing of the food and also during speaking. So this is coarse. It in its cervical region, it gives four branches. Here it gives branch. This is ascending palatine branch. And the branches passes deep to this. This is tonsillar branch. So ascending palatine. So in cervical region, it gives ascending palatine and tonsillar branch. And also it gives branch to this gland. That is glandular branch. And the branch submental branch this here is submental triangle it gives a branch that is submental branch so this is submental branch so these branch arises from the cervical part of this so this these are the branches arising from cervical part of the facial art this is course in the facial in the face, facial artery in the face. Here, it runs about half inch lateral to the angle of the mouth. Upward, forward. It gives branch, inferior labial branch. This is inferior labial branch. Here is superior labial branch. Here is lateral laser branch. It gives supply to the dorsal aspect and lateral side of the nose. It gives a right to the upper lip, it gives a right to the lower lip, and also the anastomose with the artery of the opposite side from this side artery, anastomose with this side artery, opposite side of the artery, here. Here, it anastomose with the one branch arise from the ophthalmic artery that is dorsal lesion. So, here it anastomose with the dorsal lesion artery. This is dorsal lesion artery through which anastomose here. This artery is a branch of ophthalmic artery. So these are the cores of this. This artery is the artery of anesthetics. So anesthetists use this artery for the counting the pulsation. Apply finger here, just an anterior inferior angle to the masseter here and feel the pulsation. So this is all about the facial artery. Thank you.